North Carolina law goes into effect today that requires all adult film websites to obtain age verification from users to gain access. Thank you for joining us and Happy New Year. I'm Morgan Francis. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, now a major adult film site is protesting the law. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger joining us here in the studio tonight. So, Sid, why does the company believe the law just doesn't work? Well, Alicia, Pornhub says House Bill 8 would require users to give their identification every time they enter the site. Well, the company argues this puts users' privacy at risk, and they say the law doesn't offer proper enforcement, which means underage users could just go to other sites that have fewer safety measures in place. North Carolinians searching for adult entertainment on Pornhub.com or its sister sites will now see this, a message explaining the company's decision to disable access to the entire state. It comes in response to House Bill 8, a new law that requires these kinds of websites to obtain age verification from its users, effective January 1st. A soapbox for me is not whether you should be watching porn or not. What I do think is that keeping it away from minors like any other drug, cigarettes, alcohol, if they're not physically ready for that dopamine drop, they shouldn't be ready for a porn dopamine drop either. Bo Quickle's organization, Vigilante Truth, aims to fight sex trafficking. As part of that effort, he speaks publicly to young people about the dangers of consuming pornography. I've spoke at high schools to entire populations of entire high school of all of their boys. Last time I did that, I asked anybody to raise their hand that had not watched porn in the last week, and only one young man did. According to a 2016 study from the National Institute of Health, more than 88% of surveyed porn scenes contained violence against women. It's one of the reasons Bo and state lawmakers believe children shouldn't have access to it. When you get that in the hands of a young person who really doesn't have any life experience to balance that with, you're creating some very destructive males, as well as creating females that are okay and think it's normal. But Pornhub argues requiring ID cards every time someone accesses their site isn't effective and could violate privacy. In their statement, they suggest the best and most effective solution for protecting children and adults alike is to identify users by their device. Now, a week before Pornhub took the Tar Heel State off their service, their parent company was actually arraigned for profiting off sex trafficking. They were ordered to pay $1.8 million to the U.S. government, as well as, pay, as pay out some of those victims.